Hello again. Today's tutorial we will be uh, covering how to inventory uh, first day covers and caches. Many collectors have uh, different areas of interest in philately. One of the most enjoyable and rewarding areas of philately has always been collecting first day covers. Many of these FDCs, are there, as they are commonly called, are true works of art. Some of them are even hand painted and are truly awesome to collect. In EasyStamp, you can easily track and enter all your FDCs and caches. EasyStamp not only has the images of the singles, but we have also scanned in the official first day covers for the US and Canadian issues. We currently supply approximately 6,000 first day cover images with EasyStamp. For any given stamp, there can be many, many covers and caches, which are all highly collectible and sought after. In my personal collection, I have over 7,000 first day covers uh, worldwide, and I will show you a few of the ones that I have for USA Scott number C121, which is uh, the stamp that I have on screen right now. One of my uh, interests is in uh, pre-Columbian art. That's why this one is uh, a particular, uh, makes me a, a lot of joy. So let's begin by showing you the basic listings that are included in Easy Stamp for this uh, for this particular stamp, and then we can enter the different first day covers and caches that I have for this stamp. I know that there are others available, but I've yet uh, I've yet to find them. In Easy Stamp, most collectors usually like to see the image of the single, but, but you can also see the image of the official first day cover by clicking on this icon to show more images. So you click here, and so there's the supplied first day cover image for uh, for this particular stamp. Let's bring back the primary image. Another way is to have a floating window so you, you can see the FDC image at any time as well as the, the single stamp. To do that, we simply left click on, um, on the main image and you can cycle back between the images that are supplied. Click on the F to see the first day cover. And this is a floating window and you can kind of just keep that uh, anywhere. You can take it off screen if you like as well. So let's begin by inventorying the basic first day cover as listed in the grades area here. And where am I here? There we go. Bear with me here. Okay, so we'll inventory this uh, this stamp and indicate that we have the first day cover. So we select the first day cover grade, click on the check mark to save, and as you can see, we've inventoried that particular uh, that particular uh, uh, first day cover right now. Now let's enter the special uh, caches that I have for this stamp. We begin by clicking on the FDC tab just next to the grades tab right here. To bring up the entry screen for the caches, we can right click in the gray area here uh, below and then uh, or just double click in the in the uh, in this area. So if you right click, you can go to quick edit or if you just double click, you get the FDC uh, uh, entry screen and you can expand this as, as you need to. But for now, I'll just keep it small so we can work. The only required field uh, in this uh, screen here is the FDC number. I usually use the Scott number plus an underscore and a two digit extension. So I'll use C121 underscore 01. So the way to do that is you click on the plus sign to add an entry. And then we would enter C121 underscore 01. And then we can enter any of the information that we want here. Now, Easy Stamp comes preloaded with a massive list of all known first day cover and cache makers, and we are always adding more to the list as we discover them. In this screen, you can enter all the information relating to the cover or cache, such as purchase prices, dates, quantity, and values, as well as a location for each cover. So let's do that now. I'll select a cache maker and enter the other information. So to enter the cache maker, we just double click here and choose one. So I'm going to choose an uh, anagram and the value is going to be $3. So I have one. The buy date, if I just hit F3, that puts today's date and what I bought it for. I usually buy them for $1.50 and I haven't sold it yet. 
Now we can link an image to this particular stamp. Now there, uh, cache. There are two ways to uh, get your images in here. You can um, scan them and save them to your hard drive and then link them, or you can paste them in for the clipboard. Um, I'll do a, a, some of a both. And to select one from my hard drive, I just click on the image link window. And here's the ones that I've entered here. So let's enter this one right here. Click OK. There's the link. If I wanted to enter a location where that cover is physically located, I know it's in my album number seven. And I save it. So there's that first one. Now to add more, I would just stay in that screen and continue. So let's add a second one. So I'm going to put C121 underscore 02. I'll choose a different cachet this time. And this one was seven dollars. I have one. And let's say I bought it today. And now let's enter a link again. So we click on the image link and choose the second one. Now let's do a third one. Now all these fields here are optional. The, you don't really have to enter them, but I like to keep track of uh, everything there. So we'll enter a quantity. And we'll link the third image. And we'll do the fourth one. And we'll link the fourth image here. This one I have two of. And the last one is one of my favorites. This is a hand painted one. And there it is, beautifully hand-painted uh, cup. Okay, so now I'm done with those. And as you can see, there they are. Now, one of the other things that um, is available to you is you can have a, a second window again to view just these covers. So if we go to um, View, Vertical Data Image Preview. So whenever you click on one of these, you can see exactly which cover it is. And that can stay up there. Okay, so now let's add uh, some uh, covers in there that I have uh, just sitting in the clipboard. So I'll double click in here, click on add. We'll call it C121 underscore 07. And we'll choose. Okay, so this time instead of clicking on this link, I'm going to click on paste from the clipboard, but first I have to get something into the clipboard. So I'll switch into Easy Image, where I have a cover. So I'll Control A, Control C to put it into the clipboard. Switch back, and now I click here, and we can. it will auto-name it for me. 
and there it is. And now we can do the next one. And let's do So I'll get to the flipboard again. This time we'll choose this one. Control A, Control C, and then paste from the clipboard. We'll have it auto name it. And that was an 07, I believe, or an 08. I don't remember. Save. And C121 underscore zero eight. One too many numbers there. And let's do one more. So C121 underscore zero nine. And this is an art craft. And that uh, one was three. And again, I'll switch back. And we'll choose this one. And once it's in the clipboard, I can paste it in. And then let's do the final one. And we'll paste Actually, I have to go back and grab the other one. And now I'm done. So I've now entered 10 covers, 10 caches for this particular stamp. And we can just cycle through them so that you can see them. There. So let's close this window here. Now that we've entered all the caches, uh, we can run some reports to see what we've entered. One of the ones I like to use is the line item report because it reports each individual uh, entry. So there we go. And we can also do a cache report. Oops, I didn't save that. Let's do that line item report again. So there's all our items totaled up for us. And if we do a first day cover cache report, we'll just see only items that we've entered in there. There you go. So as you can see, it's fairly simple and it gives you a great way to, uh, to track and, and inventory your uh, first day covers. We'll have another video shortly to show you how to enter and track plate number blocks and plate blocks. Uh, it's similar to this but a little different. Um, if you have any questions or how do I type questions, just email us and we'll create a video for you. That's all for now. Take care.